Hello, 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 St. Patrick's Day. Everybody's all psyched up and excited. There's been a lot of partying going on, and uh, including on this end. Hey, everybody. St. Patrick's Day, Peter G. Show Live, Life with Peter G. Show, Sunday night. I hope you're uh, getting comfortable. I hope that you are uh, got yourself a little uh, adult beverage or something, and you're comfortable and just going to kick it with me for an hour or so tonight. Tonight is going to be a little bit something different. Uh, <laughs> real quick, uh, we're going to make a phone call. Hopefully, everything will be okay, and it's going to be a call with. Uh, I got a, uh, an appointment with St. Patrick. We're going to call St. Patrick and uh, pick his brain a little bit and uh, and see what's going on. And but first, let's back it all up. Um, I'm feeling lucky tonight. I'm feeling good. The show is. I want to thank my diehard fans. The small but strong diehard fans love you guys. It's 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 getting crazy because I, it, this is what really makes it worthwhile. I'm getting starting to get IMs like messages during the week from people who I never thought would watch this show that are close to me because I I found that when I started this show that my closest friends didn't give a shit because they know me too well. You know what I mean? They've had tens of years with me and they so she, like, I'm just being me. I mean that's all it is. But to the the rest of the world, it's different, and the you know, and but but, I'm getting these calls from a few f- up close and personal friends. A friend of mine last week, I had no idea. He he, I am to me, and he says, "Hey man," uh, he says, "I saw your show last night." He says it was a little bit hard because uh, uh, yeah, I was trying to get the kids to bed, and it's like herding cats. He says, "But man, really." dig what you're doing about you know being a good dad being a good mom uh or just the you know helping bit getting stuff off your chest and this guy we used to tour together he's a great lighting director i mean he just i watched him when he was green and his uh he was just cutting his teeth and we we we've been around the world uh a couple of times together if not more but it was just good to feel that somebody that is so used to seeing you still wants to see you if that makes any sense so Thank you, my diehard fans. Love you guys. The, the The list is growing. It's getting bigger and bigger, getting you more comfortable about being here every Sunday night, 8.30 on the Pacific Coast, 11.30 on the East Coast, whatever time in the world. I got the Philippines. It's, it's just amazing to see. I mean, my focus is United States and Canada, but we're going to take this sucker to mainstream TV one way or another. It's going to get more interesting as soon as, you know, it's like, I just have to get you to believe in where I'm going with this. And you say, you know what, we got your back. And I got yours. But first and foremost, secondly, I could not do it if it wasn't for my sponsors, my beloved Bolt Energy. And look, it's kind of green, okay? And in fact, it has a green glow to it. Bolt Energy, no preservatives, enriched with uh, with antioxidants and... and uh, what do we got? Antioxidants. I'm having a mind blank too, and vitamins. So I, I should know that. Sorry, guys. Uh, it, it glows in the dark. Well, you use a blue light when you're if you're a, a fancy a fancy bartender. Uh, you can make some some cool looking drinks with this stuff. And, and you know what? Most more than anything, uh, it's a cleaner energy drink. They actually give a shit about what they're doing, and there's a reason for that. And um, you don't have to drink a whole bunch of it. It's just enough to give you a little boost in the ass to get your work, you know, to do whatever you're doing, whether it's working out, getting through the day. My life is on and on and on. I get up early. I go to bed late. I don't sleep enough. I'm not saying that's healthy. It's just the way it is. I have things. It, it's to get to where we want to go with this show. It, it's not going to be from me sitting on my ass and watching television. I can guarantee you that. And then I got these guys who believed in me. And uh, said, hey, you know what? Well, we got your back, and uh, let's do this together. And I love them for it. And I'm going to crack a can open right now because uh, I can. Oh, I like the sound of that. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I hope everybody had a safe and wonderful day. Uh, I appreciate everybody tuning in. I know it's late sometime, but it, it is what it is. So let's do this, all right? Here we go. Mm-hmm. Love it. It's tasty too. So my sponsor says it tastes like a uh, green Jolly Rancher, uh, green apple. 
I don't know. It's just good. I mean, I used to drink the bowl stuff and all that, and it had this weird, couldn't put your finger on it, but yet it was a little bit strange, but you drank it because you needed to. This is actually really tasty. So ask for it in stores. They're growing. They're new, just like me. We're all going to grow together. If you don't have it where you're located at, you keep asking for it. They're going to seek it out and bring it to their stores because the business and stores, they're not stupid. They, they give the people what they want, and that's it. I want to say, hey, y'all, love my southern family down in the Gulf Coast where we'll be doing some shows in the summer. But uh, tonight is St. Patrick's Day night. I hope people and everybody survived it real well. And um, I love you guys for giving me a little time out of your life, even though I know it's late night, Sunday night. You know, I had to do it at one point or another. Uh, oh, this is real big, and we're going to take a second and do this together because my guys will not do this, and I have to do this. Watch party. If you're watching me and give a shit, okay, if you're watching this show and you care enough about your friends and you want to share this, go to share right now on your screen. In fact, I'm going to do this on one of mine because I have six screens in front of me. Uh, where are we? So we go here, and... Uh, and we go to sh and go to share. You got to go to share. Where the hell is share? You hit the share button and it says uh, watch party. Hit the watch party button, and then you say start a watch party. And you what you're doing is you're start you're you're sharing it with your friends. And I'm telling you, in the future when we start talking about all this stuff, you have no idea who has things they want to get off their chest. I'm gonna do it on this page too. Hang on, bear with me. Uh, I, I truly believe that, um, I, in fact, every time I get a caller, I feature a little point. Uh, through the week, I take little clips, and we're constantly putting uh, little clips out there. I find clips of people who call in who actually, where I find it's like a a, uh, a moment, a, you, you know, where, and not an epiphany, but when you actually catch yourself finding out things that you think you thought that you weren't doing and need to do. And and I've this is happening regularly now because I study the shows. I listen to the shows several times during the week and uh and I point that out. I, I have found people who are uh answering their own questions and I'll take that clip and I'll feature it because uh because they it's funny when you hear yourself and I've said it before I, I tell these people you need to listen to the show and uh if you hear yourself talk You'll already find your own answer within. And uh, see, I can see some people. Uh, and the, the, the texts are going on the one page in front of me. You're right. And it, I'm, I'm, I mean, I don't want to be right, but it's, this is why I do what I do. It, it, it's really, there's something, you know, about talking about it and, and getting it out there instead of just thinking in your head. And uh, sometimes the, the answer is right in front of you. And uh, you just don't even know it. So that's the cool thing about it. Hang on one second. I'm going to do a watch party. I'm doing it myself because I got lazy ass. The the <laughs> Thank you, to my, my wonderful uh, crew. I got Ty and Edward. And they sit there and they're on their phones uh, monitoring. But they don't really sit and let me. I wish you guys would take over uh, just a little bit of this stuff. I know it's good for me to get me going and get me used to working, but... It's, uh, it'd be a lot easier if if I didn't have to do it. I uh, just I just don't think. I mean, why do I have to do this? Is it really that necessary? And they're shaking their head. That's wonderful. Okay, so if you go to the watch party one more time, and then we're going to move forward. Okay, so uh, the watch party, and if you hit uh, share on 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 your on the the page that you're watching me, and where am I? Let's see. So you have it. Okay. Uh, if you, oh, I just screwed up. If you hit share, and then it's going to say watch party. If you have the watch party, there it is, right there. And if you do hit the watch party, you'll be sharing it with people that I think will be beneficial. Normally, we're going to talk about anything you want to get off your chest. I'm pissed off. I hate my job. I hate my boss. I don't like to use the word hate a lot, but normally, if you're pissed off, it's because there's something that's bugging you. I'm having trouble with my kids. Uh, my, my big focal point is, uh, you know, divorce and single parenting, but that's okay if we don't talk about that because I got a main show that talks about it. But either way, it's all about getting things off your chest and I'm here to listen and we're all here to listen and talk about it. And that's what I want you to do every Sunday night. Tonight, a little bit special. I don't normally have guests, 
But tonight, in a few minutes, I'm going to call St. Patrick, and Lord knows what I'm going to get. I have questions for him. It has been a long day. I'm hoping he's coherent, but we're getting ready to find out. So um, that's what we're going to do. And then maybe if we have time after that, I'll take a couple of phone calls. But again, every Sunday night, want to see you here. Love you guys. I, I, it's going to get more and more interesting as I get people to tune in and be brave enough to make those phone calls. So that's the beauty of this whole deal. I... Uh, <laughs> I, I I think it's just worthy of 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 doing it. You know, I know it's Sunday night and you got to go to work, but hell, it's just like late night with David Letterman in the past or whoever's the late night shows. People stay up. And they do it right before they go to bed. Get yourself a drink, cuddle up in bed, get on the couch, whatever, with your iPad, your iPhone, your Android, whatever, and just watch it. And then when you're done, just toss it to the side and go to sleep. It's real simple. You'll probably... Be glad that you did. There's something worthy of watching. But either way. All right. Uh, so now that I got that off my chest, I got a couple of other things, but uh, maybe we'll talk about that afterwards. I think we should give a call to um, St. Patrick. That's what I think we should do. So let me just... Do you guys have his number loaded, please? And they said yes. So let's see where the hell we're going to do this from. Uh, press home. Uh, okay, I can do. I can do this. I've been practicing. And go to the phone. All right. So let me see what I can do here. Without further ado, I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to. Let's get in the spirit first. Okay. I give me back me gold. I can't make any promises, okay? I didn't I'm not saying it's going to be great. I'm not saying it's going to not be great. I don't know. When they told me that we could have the opportunity to call St. Patrick, I said, "What's that going to be about?" He's, and they just looked at me. They go, "Dude, it's St. Patrick." And I said, "Okay, fair enough." I stop at no expense here on Life with Peter G live Facebook to bring you entertainment and uh you know we're going to take the serious stuff and then we're also going to take the uh you know the we're going to have a couple of laughs too so here we go cross your fingers you're feeling lucky i feel lucky i feel good here we go one ringy dingy two ringy hello uh, hi, uh, is this St. Patrick? It is, my boy. St. Patrick, hi, my name is Peter G. We have uh, an appointment with you this, this hi, evening. Hi, Peter, old boy. How you doing, laddie? Uh, uh, <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, thank you, uh, uh, St. Patrick. I, I appreciate you taking the time. I was kind of worried being that it's a long day. I was worried that maybe we might not be able to connect because you might be passed out. Oh, it's a long day indeed, my boy. <laughs> a long day indeed. You know, it is It is a day of celebration for me, you know. Uh, everybody's Irish on this day, is that correct? Yeah, lots of green. Lots, lots of, gr of green. Lots of green, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> how lots of green. Yeah, how green is it? Uh, but, <laughs> what, uh, but I, I don't drink a lot of green, but I smoke a lot of green. <laughs> I'm sure you, you know did. what I mean. Yeah. You know what I mean, boy. I do, I do. So, if you don't mind, I, I, I really would like to under. Hello, St. Patrick. Peter, my boy. Oh, good. Just I thought Peter, I lost. My boy. I thought I lost you for a second. Uh... I'm here, my boy. Okay, cool. Uh, what, what, uh, what is it about St. Patrick's Day that everybody wants to party on St. Patrick's Day? I, I just don't understand how everybody just gets in the spirit and they're in. Full bloom and costume, the whole deal. What's up with that? Nah, well, you know, it's the lucky the Irish, you know. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh yeah, you know, you get drunk, man. Hopefully, you get lucky. You, I'm feeling lucky, but I don't, I don't you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, the lucky the Irish, you know. Yeah, lucky the yeah, Irish. What's you up? You get drunk, and hopefully, hopefully, you get lucky. Yeah, uh, I, I, I had a, I, but I did have an experience once on on St. Patrick's Day where I did get drunk, and. Uh, and I, I thought I, it was about. I thought I had a ten at two, but when I woke up, it was a two at ten. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, these things happen to all the best folks. You yeah, know? They, they, I almost gnawed my arm off. 
<laughs> I, almost, I, almost, oh, I, I almost had to leave a piece of me behind. Oh, me laundry. A piece of me oh. behind. Oh, me laundry. Yeah. Hey, what's well, up? With, what's up with Blimey Stones? What the hell's that? Oh, I don't know. You know, I was, I was. I was kidnapped when we was a wee boy, you know, around 16. You were? Oh, yeah. You don't know. No, tell me. <laughs> well, yeah. I, well, you know, me was in Britain, and, uh, and the Irish pirates, they came, they kidnapped me, and they took me back to Ireland, and uh, they made me tend to the animals. Get out of here. That, that's when I had my spiritual awakening, and that's when I learned about the God of Jesus and Christianity. You, you don't say? I do say. Although later on, there, there, was some, there were some limey accusations in, in which I was, well, you know, I, me was a boy, uh, 16, and uh, amongst puberty, and I was tending to the animals, you know. You were, were you? <laughs> they, uh, there were some, but there were some very bad accusations and allegations that were flying around. You know? How much tending to the animals were you? Doing. Well, you know, I, I was there for six years until I escaped. You like sheep? Well, you know, I did have to tend to the animals. and uh, Nah. Oh, and just, <laughs> there was no female companionship. Wow. But okay. I, Let's save that for another day, uh, St. Patrick. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm just saying that there were some bloody accusations. Really? Well, I'm, oh, yes. Well, I'm, glad to see, I'm glad to see that you uh, survived. But I am the patron saint of uh, of Ireland, you know. I I did go back to Britain because, of, I I mean Ireland. I I returned back to Ireland because of such a bad experience and that I had there. But I had my Christian awakening and I returned back to Ireland to spread the word of Christianity. Really? Oh yes. Wow. So uh, oh, how yes. how'd that work for you? Well, not too well. <laughs> <laughs> wow. To be honest with you. Yes. But, you know, in the way, I am the same party. There, there, there was no flogging it. or anything, was there? Well, you know, I did, well, I did, I, I, again, there were some accusations, but I, 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 I my lips are sealed, you know. Yep. I do have one, I do have one tip for St. Patrick's Day for everyone, all your listeners, though. You have a tip? I have, do have a St. Patrick's Day tip for all your listeners. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm ready. All my listeners are ready, too. Give us a St. Patrick's Day tip. Clean your toilet now. You may be face down in it later. Wow. I, uh... Okay. <laughs> no, I, uh, evidently, you're not Irish, you boy. Uh... Well, no, I have prayed to the, what do they call that? Prayed to the ceramic gods in my, in my time. But, uh, well, you know, you, if, you, if you don't get the jokes on, you're not Irish. So. <laughs> well, look, right now, at this point, I'm just, I'm just lucky to be anything. Uh, but my point being is with this whole St. Patrick's Day, I mean, I'm looking all up, all over, the, at least in the United States, there's a lot of partying going on. Everybody's dressing in green, and everybody's supposedly Irish for a day. Is that true? Well, you know, it's just like in the other holidays, you know. It's uh -huh. just another excuse for everybody to get drunk and fornicate. <laughs> and fornicate, huh? <laughs> What? Well, it, 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 isn't that very popular in I, America? I, I think, uh, yeah, I think there's a country song. Uh, Why don't we get drunk and fornicate? Isn't that isn't that the the song? Something like that. No, oh, I heard yeah. that fornication what? is very popular. Oh, it is. It's it, especially with the kids these days. They like it. It's got a groovy beat, you know. Uh, but and, and, and uh, you know, the Irish, we always love to get. To, and we are, you know, we are known to it by a wee bit here and there. Let me let me ask you something. Uh, this is 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 are there really leprechauns? Oh, me boy, oh me boy. Have you ever have you ever asked a Scotsman what he wears under his kilt? No, actually, I haven't. <laughs> well, there's your answer, me boy. Really? There's your answer, me boy. So, what's up with the pot of gold? <laughs> oh, the pot. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking, we, me boy. Hey, we, we're talking two different strains of gold, me boy. Are you really? 
Acapulco uh, and Colombian? Well, maybe. Maybe some Gorilla Glue and maybe some Strawana. Wow. I mean, it, it, there, there's always this myth. Things have come a long ways, me boy. Okay, so times have changed is what you're trying to say? Times have changed. Okay. I mean, so the myth about the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow now, what? what I, I don't understand. What is oh, that? Oh, no, that's true. It's true. That's true. Is it? Oh, yes, certainly. Oh, yes. But but I can never find the end of that rainbow. If I find a rainbow, it, by the time I get to it, it's gone. Hello? Uh, St. Patrick. Oh, thank you, ba <laughs> thank you, baby Jesus. <laughs> I said pot of gold, not pot of Acapulco gold. <laughs> well, you know, that reminds me of the joke of, of, me, of, me, of me friend Patty. Patty. You know, Patty, Patty died in the fire. He was burned pretty badly. Patty. So the morgue needed someone to identify the body. And these two best friends, Seamus and Sean, were sent for him. So Seamus went in, and the mortician pulled back the sheet, and Seamus said, Yup, he's burned real bad. Roll him over. The mortician rolled him over, and Seamus looked at him and said, Nope, it ain't party. And the mortician thought that that was rather unique and strange, so he brought in Sean to identify the body. <laughs> Sean took a look at him and said, Yup, he's burned real bad. Roll him over. And the mortician rolled him over, and Sean looked down and said, no, it ain't party. Thank you, sweet baby Jesus. The mortician asked, Miss me boy, Sean, how can you tell? And Sean said, Well, you see, Patty had two arseholes. And the mortician asked, What? He had two arseholes. And asked the mortician, Yup, everybody knew he had two arseholes. Every time we went into town, the people would say, Ah, oh, for fuck's sake, here comes that Patty with them two arseholes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can I say that on your show? Uh, well, you oh, you, I should. You just did. Oh, it's I'm okay. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. No, sir. no, it's it, it's okay. Uh, it, it, and the punchline was there. there I there's no punchline, sir. I just it's just a story of a, a party of me boy party. <laughs> and and who are, who are the? <laughs> okay, I think we should just leave that one on that 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 puzzle unsolved. Well, you ask, and I was relating a story to you, my dear yes, boy. Yes, and, and I appreciate that. You've been vibing too much, me boy. I, I'm going to keep that story uh, uh, tucked deeply beneath uh, my my soul. I mean, way deep. Well, you called me, me boy. I did, I did, I did. Say. Sometimes the truth hurts. <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, me boy. Oh. Oh, you don't know. So, yeah, so, you just so, don't know. Uh, no, you're right. I don't know. Boy, you I just don't know. I don't know. So, St. Patrick, is there anything else that you would feel that is inspirational or perspirational uh, to St. Patrick's Day that my my three million, or is it three, uh, um, fans need to, need, to, need to know? I just need to know. Hey, again, remember my St. Patrick's tip for the day. Clean your toilet now. You may be face down in it later. Good babe. Oh, St. Oh, wow. I think... <laughs> did St. Patrick just hang up on us? He did. <sighs> okay, folks. Well, there you have it. I, I, I made no promises. Uh, a call in from St. Patrick. And uh, St. Patrick just gave us um, the tip of the day. Clean your toilet now because you may be face down in it later. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I, uh, again, I made no promises. Uh, I think I did learn a little bit of something, something about some pirates, but not exactly sure. Uh, I know that uh, I think the pot of gold that uh, St. Patrick uh, has is not Acapulco nor uh, Colombian. But it's a, it's a higher strain, I think, because he said times have changed. But, uh, you know, anyway, you get what you get. St. Patrick's Day. Love you guys. Who's hanging with me? Who's going to call? Who's got something to bitch about? Because I, <laughs> I don't know. I, I find, uh, not pleasure. I was talking to somebody today, uh, and we were talking about, I go, you know, I know. 
I, I try to have a balance. I try to have a balance of seriousness. I try to have a balance of some bullshit. And, and even the bitching, it's just like I'm, I'm evenly balanced. I'm not like a roller coaster. I'm not hot, cold. You kind of get a little bit of everything throughout the day. And that way you kind of just stay nice and, uh, nice, nice and, you know, steady. It's important. Uh, it's out of the way. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah, it must be the telephone. Somebody said somebody said uh, St. Patrick sounded very familiar. I don't know, familiar. We all sound familiar, right? You know, I look. We all look alike. We all sound alike. But um, look, you know, it's not easy getting celebrities on the phone. I spare no expense. Remember, this show one hour. What time is it already? Thirty minutes has just about gone by. But now this is the part of the show where I'm going to take a sip of. Did I mention Bolt Energy? Yes, I did. Hello. Sorry. My sponsors, again, uh, allowing me to be here. But this is the part of the show. We're going to get back to normal now. St. Patrick's Day, yes, I hope you had a safe, fun St. Patrick's Day weekend. A lot of you probably wrapping it up and laying in bed. I hope you're comfortable with me because this is what we need to do every Sunday night right here, 8.30 Pacific, 10.30 Central Time, and 11.30 on the East Coast, around the world, whatever. The beauty of this show is if you think it's over, it's not. It regurgitates through Facebook. It gets uploaded to YouTube in a day or so. And I'm having this dilemma. Hang on one second. Mm. I could chug this stuff, and I try not to. That's my problem because it's just really easy, to just like, especially when it's really cold. Um, podcasting. I have a podcast channel. I have tons of stuff on my podcast. I haven't put newer stuff on. like this Since we started this Life with Peter G. live, I have not put any of these segments up there. Is it worth it to you? If, if you're riding in the car, will you listen to this stuff? I mean, because otherwise I'll just save the podcasting for the Peter G. show, Surviving Doors and Single Parenting stuff. But I think this is entertaining, too, and you never know what you get out of this. Last week we talked about some divorce and single parenting stuff. You know, I just you just don't know what you're going to get. And it's only an hour. It blows by like that. I think it's worthy of. They're telling me, like, maybe we should not. I don't know. I'm going to take, you know, feel free to chime in and let me know if you give a shit. Because, see, a lot of times, like, you may come in to the show for a couple of minutes, but you just got to go to bed. Or you got to, you can't hang. I, I totally get it. Hang on one second. Hi, you're listening to Life of Peter G. Who's this? Well... Who do you think it is? Uh, Mom, is that you? The crazy southern heifer. Crazy southern heifer. Uh, I got lots of crazy southern <laughs> uh, Hi, Sonia. From last weekend. Hello. Hey, last weekend. You did real well last hi. weekend. And you did so well, you got more shit for me? I mean, you know. Uh, no. I won. Blessed that St. Posse. Yes. Uh, you get what you get. Every time he took another took off that little thing. Took a what? Just really jacked it up. I yeah. I don't know what's going on. I'm I'm not. I I cannot confirm nor deny. I'll let your ears be hey, the judge. You know that suckage was hard. And then when he started coughing on that last toke, yeah. I mean, I lost respect, man. Did you for St. Patrick? Yeah, because he couldn't hold it in. Oh well, you know what? Stuff is strong nowadays. I mean, I, I have no idea, but I mean, I've only heard, but but you know, rumors. Well, first of all, the first shout out I got to do is for Miss Amber over there. We got ourselves a new friendship over here. Do, hey, you want you, you want to know something? You guys are not very far from each other. Oh, I know. Oh, okay. I know. Okay. She has the same friends I have. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. See, see how the. Peter G. Show, or Life of Peter G. brings people together. Uh, I asked her, too. And I'm, I'm going to say ask, ax, not ask. Ask, ask. I asked, because, yeah. you, know, yeah. you know, proper English uh -huh, and whatnot. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I said, how is it we have never met and become friends? Because, you know, you and I speak the same language. I'm fluent in sarcasm. Still learning English. Still failing on that one. But sarcasm, uh -huh. on point. Yeah. But you know, you could be down the street and never meet somebody. I mean, and, and let alone within. I, I'm I'm pretty sure you guys are within each other's reach. Really uh, simple. Actually, she's coming to the store that I work at. Oh damn! And she's super sweet. She's very sweet. No, oh, I don't know, yeah. but she's got to come in and say, "Hey, girl, hey." All right. Well, see what I mean. I see what I, right there. I feel good because this just did something. Of uh, you know, it, it. Believe me, life with Peter G. And one one connection at a time. 
Are you kind of like Kevin Bacon? No, but I, I, I don't. What does that mean? Six degrees of Kevin Bacon. Have you never heard of that? No. <laughs> Oh, my gosh. Every celebrity is connected to Kevin Bacon at some point in their life. Well, you know, I mean, the Bacon Brothers, I know he had a band, and um, but I'm, 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 you know, I don't know. I just kind of, oh, maybe I'll get there. Maybe I'm a little bit on, you know, I'm, I'm working my way up that way. But please uh, do tell. No, you're in California. He's an actor. He's known for Footloose and all that other man. Yeah, no, I get it, all that. But, I mean, we're all busy. It's like it's funny because it, we're, there's so many everybody in L.A. If you step away, mm -hmm. it, it's just it's just endless. I mean, everybody's got their own little camps and circles, and that's the, that's the beauty of it. And it's hard to be everywhere. That's that's the hard part of the whole deal. But, you know, I have not – I've never met Kevin Bacon. And so six degrees of bacon, huh? Well, I mean – yeah, if yeah. you're an actor, yeah. I'm not an actor. I'm just I just play one on TV. Oh, all right. you're so cute. <laughs> what's, what's on your mind? Well, let's see. The newest conflict of the day. Oh damn! Is do I need to get comfortable? Oh yes, man. You better get yourself a beer, a coffee. <laughs> no, we're good. I don't know. We're Hell, good. if you smoke a cigarette, no, I mean, I ain't smoking, and you're not going to make me. Hey, I quit mm. a long time ago, so yeah. ta-da. All right, I'm ready. Nope. So Jack Cole decides that he's going to park his big-ass diesel truck with the exhaust pointed to my apartment door. Is he going to sit there and let it run? Dude, I'm going to tell you what. When he starts it up, he's got to let it warm up in the morning. So what the hell do you think is coming in the front of my door? Did you have your door open? Hell no, but... They're apartment doors. Come on, darling. There what? is no... The, man, oh, There is... Mm -mm -mm -mm. So, anywho, so I come home late the other night. Now, nobody tell on me, because if you anywhere near where I'm at, shh, don't say nothing. So, just I didn't you and scratch me. the man's car, first off. Uh -uh. I did not key the man's car. Uh. Did not. Please tell me. However, I did have a soda in my hand. I was trying to, like, dump out before I went to go throw it away in my apartment. Yeah. And it somehow landed on his handle on his door when I was dumping the soda. So it kind of got a little sticky. All right. a so okay, a soda. But, but please tell me you didn't key somebody's car. Hell no. Okay. But come to find out the next day. Yeah. No. And then come to find out the next day, my brother tells me there is a police officer out there in the morning time with this fellow. Right. Because somebody has decided to key his car. I come to find out from the landlord, he's apparently not only pissed me off, he's pissed off other people. Because they're literally coming into the parking lot of the apartment complex to key his ass. Wow. Uh, can't we all just get along? No. Oh, boy. Mm-mm. Hmm. Because right. he decided he wanted to bow up at me, so, I mean. Uh, you know. had a man bowing up at you? Oh, yeah, but see, he doesn't understand. I'm a big girl. He's a skinny little feather. How big of a girl right? are you? My big uh, ass can Sonya. sit on Sonya. him and suffocate him. Please explain. How big of a girl are you? Because I'm, I don't really even remember myself. Five foot two. Five foot almost two. 200 pounds. <laughs> big girl can put a big ghetto ass on somebody and knock their ass out just by suffocating them with the pressure on the chest. Oh, boy. Uh, okay, so, uh, but can't, can't we just, I mean, why does he have to park right in front of your apartment? I mean, I mean, I understand that this Because he's a dickhole that, oh, did, you know, I actually had gone to knock at the front of his door. Where's he live? Uh, about three or four different times that his little buddy with a Jeep parked in my parking spot, which is numbered for my front door. Uh -huh. I've had to go knock on his door, and he gets attitude, so I flip it back, and then he tells me I need to change my tune or tone. Tone, tune. Oh, no, boo-boo kitty. I'm not but, changing my tone. Okay. But so far, See, we, wait, go ahead. No, he, I've heard from a friend of mine that lived below him that he screams at his wife and his baby. Mm. He's one of those guys. Not cool. No, it's not cool. Not cool. So, we're well, here. Yeah. So, he screams and, uh, at his wife and his baby and his exhaust pipe is t pointed at your front door and you got a heifer upstairs that walks like bowling balls. You got a lot of shit going on oh, in your life, don't you? She runs to where the shit rattles in my cabinet. How big of a girl is she? 
Hello, she about my size, but damn. Okay. It sounds like she's the size of a fucking elephant. Uh, okay. I, I get that because some people walk heavy. I mean, I, I do understand that. And, you know. Okay. What? No. no. <laughs> so, no, no, no. how are we all going to get along? For this one. How are we all going to work this out, uh, Sonia? I mean, life, you know. It's oh, li- no. My landlord and I discussed about the guy. And. Oh, he and his wife, because they're the ones who run the place that he rents, Mm -hmm. they went ahead and texted him and said, "Um, we know that there's an issue. Mm -hmm. We will be rectifying this, but you need to make sure that your guests do not park in her spot and park on the side. Mm. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's fair enough. And then, exactly. But then he, after this little text and conversation happens, is when he intentionally Backs that big ass diesel truck on the only spot that's available. Yeah, towards my door mm. to be a dick. I'm. You think? Do you think? I mean, not often because it gives me a headache. I, but, I understand, yeah. but I mean, in this day and age now, I don't know much about cars. Okay, uh, but <laughs> but do, every cars... single time this tool has parked, mm-hmm. he's parked in his spot across the way every time. Every time. Uh huh. Then after he gets contacted not to be a dickhead again. Wow. And he does it. Okay. Well. Well. Here. I mean, it, it, last week we had you know some personal like in in house relation problems. Now you got neighbor problems. Oh yeah. Can't we just find like a happy medium because somehow or another, you know, we, things got to smooth out so every are you I mean so everybody can be happy. I mean if they're picking problems well, I did you, have a what? I did talk to the lady upstairs. Okay. I did let her know about what was I mean, going on. She, she might not be aware of it, you know what way. I mean? No, she she found out eventually from uh the land, you know, the other person that she reads from above on me mm-hmm. that it's the hardwood flooring and she needs to put a runner down. Yeah. But it wasn't until <laughs> that she realized how much I can hear her uh-huh. until one night, <laughs> 3 o'clock in the morning, oh I hear her having sex above me and her get done and the dude get dressed and go to the bathroom and then I walk down the hall as he walked down the hall to leave. Okay. And I sat on the outside and went, you think you could not do that at three o'clock in the morning? What do you mean? When I'm trying to go, to- well, it was a booty call, right. but they were loud as hell. Okay, the, uh, once again, apartment life, and and uh, for those who are just tuning in, uh, life in Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> I've gotten used to the dude coming out at yeah. like two and three o'clock in the night, in the morning. Yeah. So now I just make sure that I've got stuff sounding really loud. Well, in my room, so I don't have to well, hear them well, get their busy on. I mean, but, yeah. In all fairness, he probably has to get up and go to work, so he's got to go back to his wife or something. Exactly right, or his girlfriend, or whomever he's with at that point in time. Right. right. I mean, I, I mean, I, you know, it's got to be some sketchy shit if the man is coming out at two and three o'clock in the morning. No, not necessarily. He just doesn't want to be there in the morning. I've been there. Really, if he's been there that many times, I mean, there's one time I wanted to applaud and go, dude, you get <laughs> an extra five minutes. Congratulations. Uh, I mean, good on you, baby. Oh, uh, boy. Well, look, everybody <laughs> I don't, ev- everybody I needs go. love. So, so long as nobody's okay. getting hurt. You know what I mean? It's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I, I, you know, I, it was just the night that I couldn't sleep that I got pissy about it, that's I, all. I get it. Uh, don't blame the state. Uh, your, your your new buddy uh, Amber Dawn. She's so like I said, everything is uh, relevant. I, I can't keep track of much, but I do have one screen open that Amber Dawn happens to be on, and uh, and uh, she's she said she's telling me not to blame Alabama for this shit. I mean, I'm not saying oh Alabama. no, no, dude, we can go to Kentucky and you know places. Washington State, w- Arizona, West, West, Oklahoma, West Virginia. It, it don't matter. Okay. Oh, you can go to New York. Yep. You can go to Joyce. Yep. So I mean, okay. Joyce gonna be worse. That, I that is true. How's uh, how's work? I don't know. Well, you don't I know. had a lot of people in kilts today. Did you, Did you really? Did you work today? <laughs> Hell yeah! You were, you, I literally had okay. a ginger dude okay. in a whole full green kilt. Let's, let's right let's, up let's, above the knee links. Oh, really? 
Oh, yes. Uh, let, let's refresh. Uh, um, Sonia works in a liquor store. This is getting Yay to be. My, I'm, start, I'm starting to feel a little Jerry Springerish right now. I, I got to tell you, I, I, I didn't. Jerry, you know, I want to get. I don't really. I really don't want to be there. But, but but again, for Sunday night, for an hour, get letting whatever you want off your chest. Again, my main shows are are more more straightforward. But I'm, I'm good with that. It's, we're just having fun, and this is my fun for an hour. So we're cool with that. Yeah, but yeah, it's so you work at a liquor store. So you got to see a lot of uh, being St. Patrick's Day. You got a lot of traffic, I would assume today, right? Oh yeah, quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, quite a bit. Well, cool. Anything mm -hmm. any, other than the, the ginger and the kilt? Anything else? Um, a really wasted old dude that looked like he was a broke down Doug Dynasty that wanted to chat for half an hour after he bought his liquor. Mm -hmm. he, 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 maybe he liked you. Um, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> anyway, so then there is a, let's see, then there was the mom who brought in the four kids with her. Uh-huh. What'd she buy? An ass ton of wine. I don't know. She got oh. four kids. She needs that wine. Yeah. Um, and then the bartender who works at one of the bars locally Apparently, the bar wasn't smart enough to stock enough Jameson and Guinness <laughs> really? for the Irish car bombs, you like dumbass. Yeah, you would so, think, right? Yeah. Well, she warned them. They didn't listen. Mm -hmm. Duh. Now, I'm only the place you can buy this shit from, so come right. on in. Come on in. So, yep. Right. Uh, let's see. We've got um, a service dog that came in with a... What was he drinking? month. He was drinking nothing. Uh, he probably had a rough day. <laughs> Dude, he looked like he had gotten another toke off of St. Patty shit. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. Fair enough. He was all stoned. This poor dog just like looked at me like, hey, what's up? Hey, can I ask you a question? What's up? Since you're kind enough, you've been you've been again, we we've You've been following me for, you know, on and off for a while now since I've been, you mm -hmm. know, fighting this fight to move forward. Uh, when you watch this live show now, are you holding a watch party? Actually, to down, now, the last time I didn't because it was the first time I was watching. Sure. And I noticed somebody called in, so I called in. That's Thank the only you. reason why I did Yeah, it. I know. Life is too Tonight. Bitch. Yes. Tonight, I literally shared. Did you? I shared and cared. Yes, I Good. did. Thank you. Because again, and you, you don't know who one of them is watching. Good. Uh, you have no idea so, who yeah. might end up watching in the future because, uh, you know, it, you might think everything's cool and kosher, but there's a lot of people that need to get stuff off their chest and they don't have anybody to bitch about or let it go. And this is what we're all about. And so I appreciate it. And that's that. exactly what I posted in the sharing. With right. the, you know, I recommend, and hey, this is a place to go listen. Listen to some stupid shit. D and hey, if it strikes a chord, call. Right. And, Get and it off your chest. Well, You'll feel better. You can't. And I, don't, I didn't expect miracles, because this whole thing, they said, dude, you, you, you got your work cut out for you. This is not going to be an easy haul. But I noticed a clip, and I featured a clip of you telling me that you had a conversation with your ex, and then all of a sudden within the same conversation, you said, yes, I did, well, I kind of did, and okay, I will. I don't know if you caught that last week, but I did. And, and, and it was, I can't remember the converse, what the reason was about. It was about parenting, which is very important to me. And, uh, and, you, and it was just like, wow, an epiphany, because I thought, it's like, see, you're telling me you did something, but maybe you need to do it a little bit stronger. Either that or pimp slap him, and but that's not going to do any good either. So, well, but you know. look, it's it's the it's the fact that you're aware of what's going on to try to make change to make things better for your your current situation. I mean, well, I can't remember what we were talking about. We were talking about trying to get through it, to your ex. I know what it was. Yeah. I know what you're talking okay. about. And, and, and um, but now I have more pressing things to deal with than him in another state. Well, uh, but, my mom, oh. fiance died. So oh wonderful. Yeah, so now she's all alone, so I'm... Where's that at? You know, uh, she's like five minutes away from me, so... And But her fiancé died in another state? No, he died here. No, I'm talking about my 
douche of an ex in another state. Him, I don't oh. have to worry. I'm not worried okay. about right now. I'm more right. worried about my mom. Well, I know. See, that's how things change in the in the blink of an eye. And but oh yeah, they're all a dime. Then that will soon, eventually, that will you'll you'll take care of that. But then you'll be right back to where you were with the current. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Oh, well, I haven't dealt with him in a while. I didn't mm. have to deal with him. Mm. I. But, but, I forced but the issue with him at some point. Yeah, yeah I did because of the kids. Right, and, it's important. Um, right, but then he just kind of thought he gave me what I wanted to shut me the hell up, which <laughs> is not going to happen because, I mean, does he know who he's dealing with? Well, Apparently look, not. I, after we had that conversation, it's just, again, I'm, I'm a broken record. Children need love. And they need parenting. Oh, yeah. They need parenting yep. from both sides. I don't care if it's female, female, because I just recently did, had a discussion with a, a lesbian couple that adopted. And they, but the bottom line is your child needs love. I, you know, if you're lucky enough to have a father and a mother, sometimes circumstances don't. Uh, you just can't. One passes away. I mean, I've met so many people lost their 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 parent at at 11 years old, 15 years old, 20 years old. I'm so fortunate. My father. I I need to go spend some time because my days are numbered too, but I got some issues I got to deal with. But the thing is, you know, you're, you're, if you're lucky enough to have them, you need to utilize the the time and and because uh, you can't take it back when it's over, it's over. Well, and I know this because from my instance is, you know, my mom and I have had issues. Okay, what mother and daughter doesn't? Well, you can yell, I'm but you still love to her, right? Rectify the situation with my own kids, though. But. I know, but you love your mother, right? Oh God! If just the thought of her giving up after this guy had passed and she's going to be alone now, right. it devastated me. I started, I broke down, and I had to stop thinking about it so I could actually work the next day. I know. So no, I no matter what issues we've had, yeah, she's my mom. Yeah. no matter what. Oh, no, I yell at my she's, father all the time, but I love him. To, I mean, you know, this is going to be when I officially become an adult. At, at you know fifty seven years old because I'll lose my father right? because my mother's gone now but you it, you know that's the way it is I yell but, but that doesn't mean you don't love somebody you're yelling because you care yeah exactly and you know her and I have battled off not you know ever since I was a teenager but then I've always been stubborn and pig headed and a pain in the ass so you know you survived this part. <laughs> It's it's surprising, right? I don't seem like that kind of person, right? right. <laughs> <In a, laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, I haven't spent a lot of time around you. you know? Oh, yeah. yeah. So, and, and, okay, by the way, on a side note, real quick, before okay. we get on to the rest, the fact that you said, thank you for being brave enough. Yeah. Okay, you do know this is not brave for me. This is, like, a normal thing for no, me. No, I don't. You know, the fact that, listen... We we you we semi connected to we were gonna I was gonna do an interview with you two years ago almost right and if you had been a part of that you would have known exactly where I'm coming from right now okay but but <laughs> so. I wasn't but we're still here and you still chimed in and now you're here again so I mean it's all good I mean you're sharing because what I can't wait till others chime in because I, then they, they get their point they will it's just it's 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 hard you have no idea my phones i don't sleep the 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 messaging afterwards is like i wish these people would come out of the woodwork and again if you're watching mm -hmm. a, watching a page that says there's 14 people on it there's another page for my sponsor that has 314 people on it and another page that has a thousand mm -hmm. people on it there's all these different pages and tributaries it really uh, it's it's very heartwarming that um that the support it's growing daily so I, i'm i'm cool with that it's a, this is no easy I build. think once i think once the first one calls which mm. ergo was me yeah once the first one calls in a couple of times and they're like okay maybe, maybe. It's interaction it's, it's late i i get it i had to make choices i know this show is late on a sunday night but i wanted to wind down with people and and eventually if it's important to them or they just catch a piece of it maybe i could be more interesting i don't know i i just i take it one day at a time and i i make no promises but it's just a little extra something I wanted to do, and I don't know if there was any right time to do the show. And somebody told me the other uh, the, today. They go, "Why is your show got to be so late?" It's like I don't know. If I had it too early, it'd be, "Why is your show got to be so early?" I'm not there. I'm out doing things. So I picked a time. We took a dart and we threw it at the board, and that's what time we said to do it. And here we are, plata. Well, I did notice you said something about the podcast, and you were asking 
What were you asking about the podcast? I have many, many segments of The Peter G Show, The Greatest Divorce and Single Parenting Guy, period, segments on iTunes, The Peter G Show, where you can listen on the go. You can listen to lots of segments of stuff that we talked about, interviews, or just me talking about situations. Now, this show, I'm getting ready to upload. I'm saying I want to upload every show weekly to the podcast, and they're kind of fighting me on it. They're going, maybe we should leave this show alone for a live Facebook and not and leave the audio alone and not put this. But I think it's worthy of, I don't know. You know, what, what, is it, what, what harm is it going to do? Either you listen to it or you don't. I think a podcast with more than one person, if you have you and one other person, they can go back and forth. No, you're missing the point. This show, whatever we're doing right now, will be downloaded or uploaded to the podcast. It, it is the podcast. It's the audio. Oh, okay. You, you know want to I mean? turn this into the podcast. Well, I get you now. Yes, it's a, pre, you. it's a pre-record that gets uploaded, and you can listen to the show while you're at work with a with a, a earpiece in your ear or while you're driving in the car. And, again, some of these shows with people pouring their hearts out or talking about things that bother them, I think are worthy of. I, I do want to oh, have... Oh, yeah, they are. You know, I want to have people to banter with, but that's the Peter G show when I have somebody live with me or pre-recorded with me. That's a different show. But I still think that talking, because you can't see the person anyway, so whether you're talking to me on the phone or you're sitting right next to me, it sounds the same. What's the difference? Well, actually, I sound a little different on my professional microphone, so Well, yeah. okay. There's... I'll get you, a, I'll send you a professional <laughs> microphone. You, you can... <laughs> I'm just messing with you. You, no. are, you, know that, right? you you can plug a professional microphone into your telephone. You know that, right? I know you do. Not on my house phone, no. no yeah, you get one of those. You, you get an iRig recorder, and it's a it, and it has a three pin XLR, and you could pr- put a five thousand dollar microphone into an iPhone. It's amazing. No, not my iPhone. I'm on my house phone. Do you do understand? This is a B Tech cordless. <laughs> House land line. I'm on right now. Oh, boo boo. I had no it's idea. It's not an iPhone. It's not a cell phone. It's literally, well, excuse it's literally me. a land line. You know, the excuse, obsolete shit. Yeah. Excuse the hell out of me. Uh, I don't know. Thank you very you, much. You, you, you sound fine, though. The, the, the thing is is that I, I, I wanted to, uh, oh, and we got another call. It's like, who do I want to do this? <gasps> Should we take it? Or well, you know what? I'm going to let you go and let you take that. All right. Let's see what's going on. Oh, no. They left. See what I mean? No! Yeah. If you called and you had the guts enough to call, you call me one more time and I'll answer it. Okay. You know, I can't get... Yeah. See, we don't have phone screeners. This is the whole thing. When I, If I answer the phone, I don't know what you're going to say, whether you love me or if you hate me. Whatever happens, happens, and I'm willing to take it. Because, again, I'm not saying that this is some friggin' great ordeal. I just wanted to do a little something extra on the side, and if you want to call and do it, just do it. But, um, you know, I, I do appreciate you calling, and, and you've had time to, you've had a week to ponder on what, you know, commenced last week, and uh, and yet you still had the guts enough to call. <laughs> so it's all good. And I want them to call again, and I will gladly hand mm. off the baton to them and let them go. Uh, I'll tell you what, then. L- then let's say... Um, I pre- uh, They're calling again, so we'll take it again. I'm going to take it. I'll let you go. All right, baby? Okay. I love you. Thank you. All right, bye. All right. Hi, you're on with Life of Peter G. Who's this? It's Amber Dawn. Hey. <laughs> it's like I got this. This is like a, um, a menage en trois. <laughs> It's. I feel like it's fine. I should, I, had I known it was you, I would have kept her on the line. You all can like get it on. I like her. She's great. I can't wait to meet her. She's like my neighbor, and I didn't know it. Well, I, no, I just, I just wanted to say like the last time that we talked, like the things that you said and yes. recommended. Yes. Like you were absolutely right, and um, you know, thank you for being the outsider looking in for sure. You know, just thank you for, you know. Family and friends are always going to sweet talk everything, but you you put it in perspective, and I appreciate that. Mm. And I uh, just wanted to say thank you for that, actually. All right. And uh, you know, we've got like a lot of things in line for you know my son, which mm-hmm. you know that he has autism and right. the issues that we were dealing with, right? And the behavior problems that were kind of scaring me. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, we, my ex husband and I are communicating better. Oh, and yes, See? and and we have um, 
some wow. therapies coming in place Tuesday. We have behavior analysts coming in place yeah. to help us. And so I just want to say that for you. Like, thank you. Well, like, well, And thank you because, see what I mean? This is my reason for the extra- And I know that. Yeah, you, thank you. you just Cause you do that. I make nothing just, for doing this. I, I make nothing but my own soul for I no, want I, you know another reason. But but uh, yeah, I can go to bed at night going, you know what? One, I helped one, and I'm not like this genius. It's just just when no, you, it's it's not even that. It's yeah. like um, when something bad happens with yeah. someone that when people are close to you and they know you and they love you, they sugarcoat everything. Really, but when you have an outsider that. Like, hey, you know what? Like, this is what I think is going to happen. And they're not wrong about it because they're not emotionally connected. It's actually better to hear that. You know, for me, I, like, I needed someone that wasn't emotionally connected. Just say, hey, you know what? This is going to happen again. And you've got you've to do something. See, you I know, and I, I needed, and that's exactly what you said. And it yeah. was I wonderful. Don't, I don't even know if, like, even if I was a, a family connected with you, I don't know. To me, it was like black and white, but that's just me. I think the the family that's connected that knows him knows that he's never like this. So it's like there's always that hope. Hmm. This, this is like a one time, two time thing that it's never going to happen again. You know, like there's always hope. You know, but with someone that doesn't know us, it's like. Okay, well, yeah, this prepare yourself. This is what you're dealing with now. And that that bold like just confident reassurance of like, you know what? Prepare yourself actually helped a lot and Good. and I did you, you know, I told you about my ex-husband like I need to know when he's having a bad day. Right. You know, and he needs to know the same. So right. communicating that way like you totally helped us like you really did and it it is we do have things in place and we are working on it it did happen again like you said it i mean i hate that it did but (laughs) hey tell me i'm right right it's okay i don't want to i'm not really saying you're right i'm not gloating on it i'm just making a point because i see things differently and again uh i i just tell you the truth i'm not trying to be a hard ass and i don't think i was either but it's just telling you. I, I, I see it. The no, way. I didn't feel like you yeah. were either. Yeah. I just felt like you were very honest. Yeah. You were a person that isn't emotionally connected to us. And they can, like, hey, this is going to happen again, girl. Prepare yeah. yourself, it, you know? It, just, just. And it, it, it just, I'm so, I'm, just I, I just wanted to say it helped. Okay. okay. It helped a lot. And, you know, and things are getting better. And we do have a plan in place. And cool. so. Cool. You'll have to constantly. That's awesome. You're going to constantly have to keep readjusting life. Just, no, yeah. that, and that and that and that's been that way for sure. I mean, Fifteen years old, sure, like it's sure. always readjusting. Well, it's always changing. Yeah. I get that. Yeah. But sometimes it does take an outsider's point of view to be like, "Hey, you know, try mm-hmm. this or or think about this. Mm. You know, think about the things you don't want to think about. You know, and that know. actually, when people think it's hurtful, it's actually helpful. You know, so. Thank you for that, That's and okay. it is getting better. Let me ask you a question. Mm-hmm. How was your St. Patrick's Day? Oh, I, I celebrated it yesterday, and it Did was you? great. I saw pictures. And then today, yeah, I had a, I had a good time yeah, yesterday. You but look cute in that St. Patty's Day. Shirt. That was today. Oh, today? Was, I can't keep up. Today I sat at home. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? You, it, look. I was dressed it, cute. You better safe, uh, you know, because there's a lot of yahoos out there that are just, uh, mm-hmm. you know, like it's amateur night, you know, almost like New Year's Eve. St. Patrick's Day is kind of like that in my mind, but, um, you know, all good. Uh, better safe. No, I was I was going to be back here doing the mama thing by mm-hmm. 5 o'clock. You sure. know what I mean? Right, right, right. right. Yeah, I mean, so I celebrated yesterday, but I was still dressed for uh, St. Patrick's Day today. Uh, so. It's a frame of mind. It's thank all you. Good. It's all good. Listen, uh, you just keep on doing, and uh, hey, are you doing a watch party when I do my thing? Yes. Ah, I love you. All right. Keep up the good work. Thank you, too. I need all the help I can get. Stay beautiful. And um, and because uh, we're running out of time now, I'm going to have to wrap it up. But I'm, I'm, I'm really glad you called me back to tell me that, you know, we everything kind of like, you know, I don't know what would happen if I didn't tell you that, but I'm glad mm-hmm. I did. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah, okay. Have a good night, sir. Uh, I love you. And, uh, night you too. And uh, good luck with your new friend, Sonia. 
I want you guys to hook up and uh, and I yeah I, she's great. yeah we'll That's get you like both on the line together. You guys are in the same neighborhood. I swear to God, what's the coincidence of you being in the same area? You know no, I mean? my brother goes to that liquor store. Oh my God! All right, well, liquor is quicker and candy is dandy. Yeah, I know. I can't. Yeah. Oh my God! We're all right, already well, friends. Handle your business, all right? Oh God! All right, till next week. <laughs> I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Okay. Bye. All right, good night. 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 Mm 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 mm. What is the going on with my Alabama connection? I'm getting all these Alabama women and and going on and uh, uh, kind of crazy. Uh, but uh, thank you, thank you. See, I feel good now. Uh, one person at a time. I, I'm I'm I, again. I don't have all this huge backing and all that. We're doing it one person at a time, and I hate it because I want things to go tomorrow. But I'll take it. I'll take it, and I'm not doing this to go, look at me. I'm just doing it because I do it because I give a shit. I enjoy this, and it's just sometimes I just have this uh, ability to just listen to things. I'm better at other people's shit than I am at my own. How's that, how's that you know, work? Uh, last week we had to go, you know, and I had to explain things in explicit uh, language to get the point across, but it, but it makes sense. I want to thank... St. Patrick for coming and answering the phone and actually being coherent tonight and talking about St. Patrick's Day. Another hour has blown by. We're actually going over the hour, and they're giving me the stink eye because we're trying to keep this to a certain uh, degree. Um, I want to thank you guys. I love you guys very much. It's it's my, my, my stronghold fans. There's people that are coming and going, but one by one, Everybody's coming in the door. Every Sunday night, I am going to be here, hell or high water. Uh, some, if I have to do this show in my car, I will. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's I will do it. We will talk. We'll figure it out. Uh, I want to thank my sponsors once again, Bolt Energy, for being the catalyst of allowing me to be here. Bolt Energy, ask for it in stores. A cleaner energy drink. Uh, again, enriched with. There's no preservatives. All right. And there's not, you know, because a lot of people say, oh, man, don't drink those things. There's a lot of junk in it. There's a lot of junk in everything. Cleaner drink. I'm very thankful for it. Ask for it in stores. They're growing, especially in the Gulf Coast. That's where we're focusing on one region at a time. But if you keep asking for it, believe me, your distributor or store will ask their distributors. and They're going, what's this about this Bolt Energy I hear the kids talking about? Good stuff. I like it. Okay? Uh Every Sunday night, 8.30 Pacific, 10.30 Central, and 11.30 Eastern Time. We had our little St. Patrick's Day event here. I had to keep things low-key. Some of us have things to do. But, um, I, again, I can't do a, a show wasted anyway. It doesn't work that well. Uh, believe me, I've been there, done that. Okay, it, it, didn't, it wasn't pretty. But don't forget... Just because we did a lot of talking to St. Patrick and I had a couple of phone calls, this show is for you guys. I need, where's my Midwestern girls, all these people, these women and these guys threatening to call me from the Midwest, from Northern California, from the East Coast. I need you to pick up the phone. I didn't even mention the phone number, I don't think, tonight. 818-259-7983. Every Sunday night, I'm going to be here, and we're going to do this one way or another. Life is good. I'm thankful to be here. You know, no matter how shitty of a day I may have, and and believe me, I do. Uh, life is not some bowl of cherries. I work very hard, and I'm just trying to bring this to light. But... You keep chiming in, sharing this show, commenting on this show. You can share it even as it regurgitates through Facebook, uh, Instagram. It's going to go up to YouTube by tomorrow night. Th- tomorrow night, right? They give me the yes. Gets uploaded there, and we're still uh, contemplating the whole iTunes thing. And when we do, we're going to dump a bunch of shows, and you'll have tons of stuff to listen to in the car if you've missed it. Don't forget, Bolt Energy is going to be sugar-free, and we don't make Bolt Energy in beer. Okay, I'm re- I just read that from one of my constituents. Come on. Uh, but it is a good idea, but we, I don't think they're going to make beer yet. Okay? I love you guys. Uh, I hate ending the show because, it just to me, I just feel like I get warmed up and it's time to go. But I totally get it. It's better to keep it there than to run it into the ground. Next week, uh, it's still March, right? Yes. Who knows what the hell's going on next week? I'll figure that out. One day at a time, we kind of, this is a step in and go show. A little bit of prep going on, but uh, lots of afterthought once it's done. So I love you guys, and uh, 
Don't take no shit from nobody. And please, please, please share and uh, Peter G. Show. All right? I love you. See you later.